Assalamu alaikum. Today's video is based on a true story, so please listen carefully. One of the Muslim women that gives da'wah said, Our community was going through hard time, so we had to ask the members for donations to provide the poor ones who are in need. Each sister donated a few bucks or, you know, whatever they could afford, until one of the sisters came up to me and she was crying and gave me her necklace that's made up of pieces of gold. And I could tell this necklace looks fancy and expensive. So I asked her, are you sure you want to donate this necklace? The sister said, by Allah, I don't own anything other than this. Take it as a charity from me. I asked her again, are you sure? Don't you have any money that you can donate instead of this necklace? And all she said was, by Allah, I have nothing except this and I want to donate it for the sake of Allah. So I took the necklace to the jeweler to sell it, and while the guy was extracting the gold pieces from the necklace and weighing them, he found a little paper between them. We opened this little paper and found out that it has ta'weed and talasim, which is like words that are used for magic. So I made some research about these words, and I found out that this magic was made to ruin the relationship between one and his wife. So I immediately started reciting Quran, and burnt it. After a few days, I met that same sister in a lecture and I told her about what I found in her necklace. And the sister started weeping. I asked her, why are you crying? What's the matter? She said, you know, it's been 10 years, 10 years since the last time my husband wanted to have an intercourse with me. Whenever he approaches me, he gets disgusted. And neither one of us knew, why would this happen? She said, a few days ago, was the very first time we have a sexual relationship in 10 years. And by Allah, by Allah, I did not know about this magic thing until you told me right now. SubhanAllah, can you imagine that? Can you imagine how amazing that is? Allah relieved her and her husband by a charity that she gave. Brothers and sisters, never underestimate charity. The Prophet Muhammad Wasallam said, we should give charity as it increases our property and makes the mercy of Allah befall on us. Never underestimate the power of charity. And remember, Allah will reward you for it in this life and the hereafter inshaAllah. And when you give charity, don't give it for the sake of people on the internet like some YouTubers. Give it for the sake of Allah only. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum.